Hey everybody, this is going to be a new update to my current tutorial running on YouTube. Um, it's pretty similar, but only with a few new little updates to it that uh, I found helped me out a lot over the past couple of months and I thought I'd share it with you all. Uh, what, I, what I wanted to show you guys first is my setup um, because I'm sure you all heard that when it gets to the capture card a lot of people mention HDMI splitters and a bit of a lag. Um, there is a lag. The lag is because of the input signal that gets processed by the card itself uh, which basically slows the video down by a few hundred milliseconds. Um, I think a lot of people will notice it, especially if they play Call of Duty, but some people might not notice it. I personally do notice it, and you can't play with that. So what you see running now is uh, the small screen has the input from the capture card, and the wide screen right in the middle has got the direct feed from my Xbox 360. Now what this does is on one hand it lets me capture the feed from the capture card and on the other hand I'm able to play any game without the lag. Now how do I do this? I basically have a splitter that splits the signal from the Xbox 360 into two. One signal goes to the wide screen and the other signal goes to the capturing card that's currently running on the small screen through my PC. Um, just to show you guys, I will show you and you can see for yourself if you do notice a slight lag. If you do, well done. If you don't, well done. Anyways, that's for my setup and I'll be going over to my PC now and then I will show you the new changes that I've found works the best for me. You are all welcome to change and chop as you please. Hey everyone, okay now I'm back on my PC. Uh, what I first wanted to show you guys is I'm able to record through VH Capture without the need of the other media software running in the background. I'll quickly give you an example. Let's open up the Avermedia software. Okay, now we can see that the video is showing. We'll close that, open VH Capture, and here the video is also showing. But the Avermedia software is closed. Now, how does this happen? Because I'm running on a splitter, the Avermedia software basically authenticates the HDCP signal that's basically a protection that runs on HDMI or or on a lot of digital signals for you not to be able to record if it's not something official. Now in a lot of cases a lot of people need to first open VH Capture and then afterwards open the Avermedia software and then the video signal will display here. Why? Because VH Capture is the first one to snag that that authentication and the video signal before the other media is able to do that. Now like I said before because I have a splitter it's able to grab that uh, HDCP authentication and it's able to keep it. Now it keeps it until the next time I restart my computer. Every time I restart my computer I need to open the other media software, authenticate the signal, close it and then I can carry on recording without any problems. Now, seeing that we have VH Capture open, I'll quickly show you guys the, um, the changes that I've made uh, from my previous video. And also for all the noobs among us that's pretty new to all of this. Now, the first thing I'll do is I'll quickly change the resolution of my video signal, that is, to 720p. Why 720p? Because my Xbox is running on 720p. If my Xbox was running on 1080p, I change it to 1080p but I'll set it to 720p apply OK and as you saw it changed. Now second thing is remember to change your format to AVI. Okay, A lot of people send me questions that they're not able to set the video compression 
because the format was set to something else here. So remember set it to AVI. Uh, second thing, the video compression. Last time I used the UT video codec and it's it's a great codec especially if you want to record raw video but the thing is that your video files are huge afterwards. Now I showed all of you guys how to convert it with um, virtual dub but personally I got sick of it because I was running out of time every single time I wanted to to convert to video and I just got fed up. So what I did was I started using um, I'll show you what I started using. Started using the X264. Now in the virtual dub video I also showed you that when I do convert from UT from the UT video codec I I basically converted to the X264. Now I like the two, uh, the X264 because it's uh, it gives you a very good compression. It's equivalent to Xvid or DAVX, but um, it's not that limited. It, it gives you a whole lot of different possibilities to record with. Now, first thing I'll show you here are my settings. Now these settings are tweaked specifically for my computer. It, these are supposed to work on your computer because my computer personally isn't that high end. I've got a quad core, I've only got um, 4 gig RAM and um, that's basically it because I th that's the only thing that matters. Your video card or your graphics card doesn't really matter here. It can be on board, it can be PCI, it can be whatever. As long as your CPU is good enough to handle uh, encoding while you're recording, you're set. Now, the first thing that you want to set here is the preset. Make it ultra fast, okay? Um, if you want to know exactly what each and every setting is, uh, just move your mouse over the setting and as you can see, you get a little um, cloud that pops up and it shows you exactly and explains to you what it is. So, we make that ultra fast, okay? The tuning is none, the profile is auto, the level is auto, fast decode isn't marked, zero latency is marked. Why is, the real, uh, why is it marked? Because while you're recording, there's no latency. It, it records from point A, as soon as you click the record, and as soon as you stop it, it stops recording. Now to a lot of you it seems logical that it should do that but it doesn't do that if zero latency isn't marked so make sure this is marked um, the rate control is single pass because uh, your PC will probably be good enough to to record in one single pass don't change it to multi-pass or something like that that's only if you want to re-encode a video that you already re uh, recorded previously so make sure it's single pass and that the bitrate is ABR. Now, when it gets to bitrate, I set mine to 16,000. You can set yours to less, but remember that your video will be pixelated if you do set it to less. You can set it to more, and you will get less and less pixels as you up your bitrate more and more. Um, second thing is the output. Make sure it's on VFW and well you can basically play with the 4CC here I left mine on H.264 it works great and another thing what I forgot was uh, nothing that's it make sure that your settings are similar to mine if you do have problems play around with it a bit and see what works best with your PC while we we're done here, we'll move over to the audio compression. Now, I found that when I personally record with MP3, there is a bit of a lag between the video and the audio. It doesn't synchronize properly. So I started using the AC3 codec, but only a two channel. Don't I, I don't recommend you using the 5.1 or don't over exaggerate because I mean, at the end of the day, you will be uploading to YouTube and YouTube will just re-encode your video and it will be playing on a two-channel audio uh, compression. So I changed mine to AC3. 
I picked uh, 256 kilo well, kilobytes per second at uh, a two channel as you can see it's two channel um, the Hertz the Hertz depend on you you can play with it remember that the, the less you put the the less quality you'll get with your audio so the higher you put it the higher the audio quality okay once that's it um, yeah, I think you're ready to record now um, wait, before I forget there's one more thing to remember um, when you set your capture source remember that if you're recording through HDMI that is to use the internal audio source uh, what that does is it uses the HDMI video and it uses the HDMI audio so once that is done you're ready to record so let's quickly put this to the test let's record it oh it's sorry my hard drive is in sleep mode so I'll stop it and record it again okay that's it let's go over to the file okay this is the file I just recorded it's 10 megabytes as you can see the resolution is set properly um, bitrate is fine let's see the quality of it there's the quality of it perfect um, that's basically all I've got to show you if you still want to use VH capture uh, not VH capture sorry if you still want to use uh, virtual dub and re-encode your video to different uh, compressors then you know exactly how to do it I showed you there so maximum just refer to my previous tutorial and use that um, for now that's it um, like subscribe uh, I'd very much appreciate it especially views uh, tell your friends let everybody know and um, guys I'm sorry but comments are disabled private messages I will not answer if you do have problems please google them or try and troubleshoot them by yourself because I seriously do not have the time to answer every single question that I get into my, in my inbox so I'm very sorry but please respect a fellow youtubers requests thanks guys hope this helped bye